Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Java assignment in Virtual Programming Lab in Moodle um, using JUnit as the testing framework. So the first thing to do is to add a J, uh, not a JUnit, but uh, to add in a Virtual Programming Lab activity like this. So we find it right here. I click on Add. And up here we go. So, um, Java uh, account assignment using um, JUnit framework. Okay. Actually, let's make that the short description. And we're going to say Java bank account assignment like that, because that's what shows up in the grade book. Um, here, I'm going to write down uh, it's a short description or a fuller description here. It's a uh, Java assignment edit in a uh, bank account solution and have it tested by GUnit. And I'm going to put in the link to the GitHub site where I got the information about it right there. Submission period, we're going to start uh, on the 14th of August, and I'm not going to have an end date like that, but just a start date. I'm going to put activity completion set to uh, it's complete when they receive a grade. And grade, I'm going to make it out of, say, 10 points like that. And that should be sufficient there. Next up, we're going to edit this assignment. So first thing to do is to state, um, let me see which execution files we're going to use. And the execution files are uh, shell scripts, and in this case, uh, Java files that are used to support uh, those shell scripts in here. We're going to permit the students to both run without evaluation their program and to evaluate for marks their submission. So we're going to have something in VPL run.shell and VPL evaluate.shell and then we're going to add two more files as well that are Java files. So the run one is coming from the GitHub site right here and I think it's an etc. There we go. Run. I'm simply going to copy all of this and paste it in. And you'll notice right here that there is a reference to a file called my test. That is going to be the uh, JUnit testing framework right there. Okay. Next up, we have the evaluate shell, which is basically is the same thing right there. copy it in. And again, it uh, has a reference to something called main, and uh, uh, that will be a, um, a Java file that we'll find over here. In source, we see that we have both main.java and mytest.java. Okay, so now I have to add those in as well. So to do that, I create new files. We're going to call the first one main.java. And main.java, all it does is create basically a bridge between the standard Virtual Programming Lab um, shell scripts and the JUnit test framework. Now it is modifiable. Um, you can see that, for instance, uh, there's supposed to be two tests that are run on the code that the students will submit. This one is the first test. Here is the second test, and it will um, mark to show that the first test is worth 50, the second test is worth 50, the um, sorry, 
it each one of these is is this is worth 50 and the second test is worth 50. In my case, I've set the assignment to be worth 10 marks, so I'm going to make that five. Whoops, over here, five, 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 and five, and this one's going to be five, and that one's going to be five. Okay, so five marks for the first test, five marks for the second test. And if I needed to add more tests, I would I would do that in here. Okay, so this is the main class, and it's going to call up the JUnit test framework, which is over here, mytest.java. So I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to add a new file, and we're going to call a new file mytest.java. Java. And my test.java is right here. I'm going to save that as well. Now, um, the assertions that are right here, or the, the basic things that are being used to create the testing of the student submission, are placeholders. These aren't what we want. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to comment that out as well. They're just examples. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over um, an actual JUnit uh, test uh, framework that uh, that was given to me as an example by uh, my colleague Jonathan Ostroff. And we're going to bring this over. Okay. So I'm going to set up a test on an instantiation of an object that the student will create a file for. It's going to be uh, for a Java file called account and there's going to be an object called a1 that's created as type account. It will have a balance of $3,500 and it will have an account identification number of 2. I'm going to do the same thing for the second test. So we're going to create an account based on the student submission. In the first case, we're going to check to see that the student's program returns the correct ID, um, in this case, 2. We're going to check it to see if it is 2 using the assert equals um, uh, aspect of a JUnit. Okay? And we're going to run the student's get ID function as part of the object called A1. Next, we're going to do the same thing with assert equals to make sure that the student or the student's program returns the correct balance. Okay, this is a really simple test. There's nothing really complicated about it, but the idea is to see that it, it is $3,500 if we gave it $3,500 as an input. And we're going to ask for the student's version of get balance to be called. And uh, we're going to make sure that that's true. Okay, so we're going to test ID. We're going to test balance. So these are two tests that we're going to do inside of JUnit. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that's saved like this. All right, so next up, I'm going to go back to the activity. And I have to make sure that run and evaluate are going to be uh, enabled. So I think it's in test activity right here. Nope, that's not part of the setup. Hold on, I will find it at settings. That's not it. I will find it's a little confusing uh, getting access to this, but okay, I'll try to remember how to oh, execution options. There we go. Okay, so the first one is run. I want to be able to let the students run it. And I want the students to be able to evaluate. Um, 
and we're going to give it an automatic grade uh, based on their evaluation. Okay, save options. Okay, so there we go. And then I want to have the students submit a specific file. And this is important because the JUnit or the, the, the shell scripts and the uh, JUnit uh, file as well are looking for a specific uh, file. Uh, in this case, it's going to be account.java like that. Okay, so we want to make sure that the students call that in. And we're going to give the students a little bit of a hint as to what they should be submitting. So this is uh, Professor Ostroff's example that he gave me the other day. I'm just going to provide that as a template to the students. Okay. Save that. Okay. So now I believe we are ready. Okay, so we have a requested file for the students. We have the execution files, uh, two shell scripts, and two Java files. I'm going to switch modes. I'm going to go into student mode. And now I'm going to test it out as a student. Okay, so this is what it would look like to the student right here. So they get an introduction right here, and it shows them a description of the work. I could potentially, as a student, upload a file. Say I had a file that I've been working on on an external editor. But in this case, I'm going to show you how we can do it from a purely editor mode online. Okay, so this is the template that was provided. And I'm going to pretend that uh, this was sufficient. And uh, I'm going to save it. Now this is what the student is going to submit. They're going to run all of this and we can see here that the Java compiler is complaining that uh, it couldn't do what it wanted to do all right so something is wrong here um, and if I tried evaluating it we would see that um, it again couldn't evaluate all right so I'm going to copy and paste all of this and put it in. So this is the real solution. Okay. And now I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. Ah, right. I forgot to do something. I have to modify the log out. I don't, I'm going to go back to my regular mode. I didn't modify properly the JUnit test file. I'm going to go back in here, execution files. So I'm going to fix this now. So you're going to get to see me fix something. All right. Um, right here, it's in the JUnit right there. I'm going to replace those two with that. So I had to modify that. I had to modify the default. So I modified that right there. And that, I believe, will work. All right. We're going to go back to switch role to student. The complaint I'm not supposed to be able to see uh, the Moodle page from that perspective. That's fine. I'm going to go back to the main submission page there. Again, I could upload the file. But in this case, I'm going to edit instead. It has my old student submission right here. I'm going to hit run. Cross my fingers. There we go. Okay, so now it worked. Um, the the message that's being given isn't particularly good. Uh, that should be modified um, by you as the instructor uh, within the Java files um, or within the shell scripts, depending on how you want to set that up. Um, I'm going to go and evaluate now. And we're going to see that it was able to successfully run test one and test 
2, and each was worth 10 marks, and it shows that the proposed grade for the student is 10 out of 10 automatically, and this should show up in the grade book um, as well. Okay, and there you have it. So how to set up, in brief sort of sense, a JUnit based Java application assessment um, for students in virtual programming lab.